Perioc, I have to uh, bring up the issue of the impending missile testing um, that is due to take place off the West Cork coast uh, by the Russian army. Uh, and I have to, at this point, outline the devastating impact uh, that this testing um, will have, missile testing will have on the uh, wildlife, uh, marine wildlife in that area. Um, the area in question is an area known as the porcupine sea bite. To describe the porcupine sea bite, um, it is essentially almost like a chunk taken out of the continental shelf. It's where the continental shelf eventually drops off into the deep. Uh, and it is a rich um, and incredibly important area uh, of biodiversity in the Northeast Atlantic. Um, it's important for whales, dolphins, fish species, and other marine wildlife. And just to give an example of how important it is, um, I'll go through, through some of the species that you can encounter there. It is one of the most important areas in the Northeast Atlantic for the blue whale. Okay, the blue whale is the biggest animal that has ever roamed this planet at well over 30 meters long. Uh, and this area is, is, is incredibly important for them. Blue whales, like all cetaceans, um, hunt acoustically. They use sound to hunt. So the impact that high decibel volume from missile launches and missile testing is going to have a huge impact on this uh, beautiful species. Uh, another example, and perhaps an even better example of how it's going to impact wildlife, uh, is the sperm whale. Again, the porcupine sea bite is one of the uh, most important areas in the Atlantic for sperm whales. Sperm whales dive uh, down to the depths to hunt, uh, where there's no light, it's completely dark. So they use um, a high frequency click, um, like a sonar themselves, to hunt and source their prey. So, as you can imagine, as the uh, Russian military amass uh, off the west coast of Cork, they are going to be monitored. Um, they're going to be monitored by NATO, they're going to be monitored by the UK, they're going to be monitored by the rest of Europe, uh, and therefore you can be absolutely assured that there'll be Russian submarines down there pinging sonar, pinging sonar at a, at a high rate and a high frequency. For a species like sperm whale, this is known to have a detrimental effect. So what you're going to have um, is mass strandings. And a final species, again, it's a, it's a good example, is the long finned pilot whale. Again, this area of the uh, sea bite, the porcupine sea bite, is one of the most important areas to see the species. When uh, long finned pilot whales are massacred in their thousands in the Faroe Islands, we here in Ireland and the rest of Europe, we were astonished, we're absolutely shocked. Yet, we're proposing to stand by and watch while a uh, Russian army conduct missile tests which is going to have a devastating impact on a species like pilot whale that feed at the deep. We're going to have mass strandings of pilot whales, of sperm whales, of other deep sea uh, beak wh beaked whales. It's going to be an ecological disaster and we must do everything possible to stop it. Um, but it's not just the, the marine wildlife it's going to impact, it's going to impact on livelihoods. Uh, we all know, and we're all now well aware, that a flotilla of 50 boats intends to go out to the porcupine sea bite to peacefully protest um, this activity. I'm firmly behind uh, the, the fishers of West Cork and the rest of Ireland who are going to do this because the porcupine sea bite, because it's such an important area for biodiversity, it is one of the most important fishing grounds uh, in Europe. Species like nephrops, prawns, um, blue whiting, it is incredibly important. They are due to start fishing in February, yet they cannot because the Russian army um, are active there. So this is going to impact coastal livelihoods as well as, 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 uh, as wildlife, which is why we inter intervene. Now, I've heard it said on a few occasions that there is no law that we can invoke in order to stop this happening. I have to read out Article 56 of the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, Part 1, in the exclusion economic zone of the coastal state, which this is in the uh, uh, exclusive economic zone, a sovereign, uh, the state has the sovereign rights for the purpose of exploring, exploiting and conserving uh, and managing the natural resources, whether living or non-living. Therefore, that says to me, fish species are a living resource and we have the rights to conserve that. And if we see a threat, we can invoke Article 56. I would urge government to do that and it would urge us to use our seat on the Security Council to do that and ensure there is not an ecological disaster on the Parkinson Sea Bite. Thank you.